let's chat about file system and full file system extractions on Android devices. Most people know you need at least some form of file system extraction of an Android to get application information. The full file system is even more attainable with Qualcomm Live. This is a feature that is built into UFED that is kind of a hidden gem. I wanna make sure you know how to find it. So I have UFED open here on my PC. I'm going to select mobile device. The device I'm going to leverage is this Samsung that I use for testing. You can use auto detect. However, since I've already connected this device several times, I'm going to just choose browse device and recently used. And I'm going to choose my Samsung device. Once I'm here, you have some options. It's telling you to use cable 170. And I wanna walk you through how I would logically do this. So I would connect cable 170 and I would connect my Android device. So I have it all connected and you will hear my PC recognizing that device. So anytime you hear that dinging or connection, make sure you're looking at the phone and looking at UFED to ensure it's not asking you to do something. When you miss a step, it may make your extraction fail. From here, I'm going to choose file system. And do you notice this little blue word there that says selective? That is what we really wanna choose. So we're going in here and we are going to choose Qualcomm Live, which also gives us that selective file system extraction. Selective is important just in case in your investigation you are only allowed to access certain items. So I'm going to choose Qualcomm Live and then you choose where you wanna save your extraction. Now this is very important at this point. If you are on the UFED Touch 2, you will not see this screen. You don't need a special adapter. If you're on UFED 4 PC like I am, you need to connect this adapter. So I have to disconnect my Android and you'll hear that ding and now connect this adapter. And you'll see it's initializing the adapter and the adapter will flash different colors. When the adapter is recognized, like you can see here, it's waiting for it still, and you may see the flashing back and forth, you then have to connect your device. So it changed from waiting for adapter, and now it has the adapter, it needs your phone. So I'm going to connect my phone to the USB port using cable 170. And again, with every ding, pay attention to that device and make sure you follow these steps. Now, step three has haunted me. It tells you to go into the apps on the main screen under settings lock screen and change it to none. If you do not do this, if the phone reboots during this extraction, it is going to go into a BFU mode or before first unlock, which means your extraction will be encrypted when you look at it. That's not good. So you want to make sure that the device remains unlocked anytime it reboots. So I choose continue. This is where your patience comes in. Qualcomm Live may take many attempts for you. For that, if I have any issues, I want you to actually see them and I want them to remain in the recording. Um, I have been lucky enough, and I will jinx myself by saying this, that it usually takes one or two attempts for me to get my extraction. Make sure you read these screens and that you pay attention to it. So I'm going to say, okay, is it okay that my device reboots? Think about this. If you do not know the passcode to that device and someone unlocked it and handed it to you, you need to have that person there consenting to unlock it again. A reboot will take a hot device and put it into a cold state. So I'm going to choose continue. And now we wait and we stay patient. The phone has asked me if I wanna allow the connection and I've selected allow. You also heard the ding. Now listen to all this connectivity going back and forth, and you will see that it's trying to establish a connection with that device. This is often where errors occur if you don't get lucky. So at this point, we wait. All right, so here's an extraction error, and it's telling you if the phone didn't restart, restart it and wait until it's fully booted. My phone did not restart. It wants you to make sure that it's in developer mode, USB debugging and staying awake. It wants to make sure that it's connected to the phone. So I am actually going to unplug it. I'm going to restart my phone like it's telling me. And then when it restarts, make sure it's in an unlocked state, which it should be if you followed step three on the previous screen. If you did not, you need to make sure that you enter the passcode again and then select retry. When it's fully powered on, and unlocked. 
Okay, my phone is powered on and unlocked. So I'm going to connect it to my device adapter. You can hear that it recognized by the system and I'm going to say retry. And it's asking again if I wanna allow connection to the phone and I do. Now something else you may wanna try if you keep getting errors is to go into the settings and under developer mode and revoke USB debugging settings. So you wanna revoke all those connections. I've had luck with that. I've also had luck with disconnecting the UFET adapter and reconnecting. I've had luck with aborting the extraction and starting from the beginning. But again, just like it's saying, please wait, this can take some time. It may take some time. All right, now for this error, since I tried to reboot, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into developer mode. And this is a trick that I have learned from experience that's not necessarily listed here. I'm gonna go into where it says USB debugging and I'm going to revoke USB debugging authorizations and say, okay. I'm going to turn USB debugging off and turn it back on. So what it's doing is every connection it's made, it's getting rid of them. On some Androids, I feel as if they can only connect with so many and then it's kind of blocked. So I just wanna clear that blockage if that's what's causing my errors. I'm connecting it and I'm going to retry. And it's asking again, do I wanna allow USB debugging? And I'm saying yes on the device. All right, so now we see authenticating source. It needs you to select on the phone to always allow connection with that computer. And you may hear some more connections going back and forth, but this is a positive sign. Now, some people will experience where it goes through and it starts uploading to the device. And the uploading and checking device compliance and then executing the Celebrate capability to it, you may still get failure. So it's exciting when you hit this point, but you may find that you get to step two and then it fails or you get to step three. What I have found from my experience that causes that is when the device cannot reboot and remain in an unlocked state. So if you did not initiate that setting as previously explained on the screen, that may cause you some issues. So now we wait again. We wait for the Celebrate capability to hit the handset. Now we can see it's preparing the device for extraction. This is a good sign. One thing worth noting is while it's saying preparing the device for extraction, you shouldn't be interacting with that Android. You should be watching the screen, waiting for the next steps. But if screens appear on that Android, you should not be interacting with it. Just trust that UFED is doing its job and wait for your options to extract the data. All right. Here's the screen we've been waiting for. It's telling us the device has been detected and it gives us some options. Here we can see I'm running Android 11 and it tells us the make and model of my device, tells you the security patch, um, your serial numbers, how many apps are installed and so on. Down at the bottom here, you can choose selective file system or full file system. I always choose full file system unless time matters and you need to be very quick with the device um, maybe you have a set time limit that you are able to extract the data before you have to provide immediate analysis, or if you're only allowed to choose certain applications. If I choose full file system, it's gonna go through and it's going to do the full file system extraction and you are going to get an amazing amount of information extracted from that Android device. Just to show you what selective looks like, I'm going to choose that. So I choose selective. And you can choose here, what do you want to include? You could go down the list and check the boxes, but you can also keyword search for them. So I could say, you know what, I want Facebook. I want WhatsApp. Maybe I want Signal and Twitter. Whatever you select, you'll see it says four apps selected, and then you choose extract. At this point, UFED is simply extracting what you selected, which is going to make the extraction faster. It's also going to make parsing faster when you load this data inside a physical analyzer. The key items we covered here, file, full file system and selective file system. 
two options that are available in Qualcomm Live that are very relevant to your investigations. This is the best way to get the most information from an Android leveraging UFED.